welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that use Cranmer's rule to solve for u and v. 5 over u plus 6 over v is equal to 11 and 10 over u plus 9 over v is equal to 21. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is the Cranmer's rule. For the equations a1x plus b1y is equal to c1 and a2x plus b2y is equal to c2 the solution of these equations in determinant form is given as x is equal to the determinant with the elements in first row as c1, b1 and the elements in the second row as c2, b2 over the determinant with the elements in first row as a1, b1 and the elements in the second row as a2, b2 which is equal to the determinant dx in the numerator and the determinant d in the denominator. Now the determinant d in the denominator is really the determinant of the coefficients in these equations. In the determinant dx, the coefficients of x, that is a1, a2, are replaced by the constant terms c1, c2. And y is equal to the determinant with the elements in first row as a1, c1 and the elements in second row as a2, c2 over the determinant with the elements in first row as a1, b1 and the elements in the second row as a2, b2 which is equal to the determinant dy over the determinant d. Now in the determinant dy, the coefficients of y are replaced by the constant terms c1 and c2. And where d is not equal to 0. This is how we can find the solution of the given equations by using the grammar rule. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now given these two equations and we have to solve them for u and v using Cramer's rule. So given 5 over u plus 6 over v is equal to 11 and 10 over u plus 9 over v is equal to 21. Now putting 1 over u is equal to a and 1 over v is equal to b in the equation number 1 and equation number 2 we get 5a plus 6b is equal to 11 and 10a plus 9b is equal to 21. Now by using the result which is given in the key idea now let 5 as a1, 10 as a2, 6 as b1, 9 as b2, 11 as c1 and 21 as c2. So the determinant d will be equal to the determinant with the elements in first row as a1, b1 that will be 5, 6 and the elements in the second row as a to b to that will be 10, 9. On solving this 
this will be equal to 9 into 5 minus then into 6. That will be 45 minus 16 which is equal to minus 15. Therefore, D is not equal to 0. Therefore, the solution of the given equations exists. Now let us find the determinant dA which is equal to the determinant with the elements in the first row as C1, D1 and the elements in the second row as C2, B2. Now using the values from these equations, so this will be equal to determinant with the elements in the first row as 11, 6 and the elements in the second row as 20 and 9. On solving, this is equal to 99 minus 126, that is 9 into 11, which is 99, minus 21 into 6, that is 126, which is equal to minus 27. Now, let us find the determinant dB, which is equal to the determinant with the elements in the first row as A1, C1, and the elements in the second row as A2, C2. Now taking the values from these equations, this will be equal to determinant with the elements in first row as 5, 11 and the elements in second row as 10, 21. So this is equal to 5 into 21 which is 105 minus 10 into 11 that is 110 which is equal to minus 5. Now a is equal to the determinant dA over determinant d, which will be equal to, now the determinant dA is equal to minus 27 and the determinant d is minus 15. So this is equal to minus 27 over minus 15, which is equal to 9 over 5. Now b is equal to the determinant dB over determinant d which is equal to now the determinant db is equal to minus 5 and the determinant d is minus 15 so this is equal to 1 by 3 now we have taken 1 by u as a and 1 by v as b now 1 by u is equal to a implies 1 by u is equal to 9 by 5, which further implies u is equal to 5 by 9. And 1 by v is equal to b implies 1 by v is equal to, now b is 1 by 3, so this is equal to 1 by 3, which further implies v is equal to 3. Hence, u is equal to 5 by 9, and v is equal to 3. So this is the solution of the given question. And that's all for the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.